This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we've got a head-to-head -head review looking at the MSF 4.0 from Topps and the Cold Steel Finwolf. And what we'll do is we'll talk through the details on the two knives. I want to roll in some footage that I got of the knives in use, and then we'll talk about which one I liked more and give you the reasons why. Your total length for the MSF 4.0 is 7.5 inches. So 4.25 for the handle and then 3.25 for the blade. The steel is N690, which is different for tops. They do a lot of 1095. That's what they're most well known for. But this is actually outsourced to Italy. Um, it is a folding knife, which is kind of rare for tops. They don't do it. They don't do a ton of folding knives. It is a liner lock. You can see there. We've got our pocket clip. It is uh, reversible, so you can go either right hand or left hand. It's going to be tip up carry. Um, micarta handles. Um, it is milled out inside the handle. I don't know if you could pick that up here a little bit there on the camera. You can see it is milled out. Um, it is a flipper design, so that's how it's going to open. Um, and the thing that makes this and the Finwolf stand out in general is that it's a Scandi grind on a folding knife, which you just don't see a ton of. They're out there, but just it's more likely that you're going to get a hollow grind or a flat grind or something like that for a um, for a folding knife. The knife is comfortable. It's easy to use. Again, we'll show you footage in a second. So I've used this more as an everyday carry knife as opposed to a woods knife, but I put it through the paces and the Finwolf, you know, doing work on wood, making feather sticks and stuff like that, as well as cutting rope, cutting boxes, things like that. So I got to readjust my angle here because the sun keeps shining through the trees. Uh, last two things, it weighs 3.5 ounces. And the other thing is it's getting 3.6 stars out of five on uh, Amazon, but that's only three reviews. So not a ton of feedback that's going to be helpful as far as the reviews. One guy did say that the liner, liner locked over, it over traveled and basically you know got locked in on the opposite side of where it's supposed to go so that's the one downside other people seem to have liked the knife so far okay on to the Finwolf 3.4 for the blade uh, 4.38 for the handle so 7.78 overall um, your price point for this is going to be 35 up to maybe 60 bucks depending on where you get it you can also get it in a couple different colors this is the OD as you can see and you can also pick it up in orange as well there may be other colors out there but those are the two main ones that I saw popping up as I um, as I looked around on the uh, on the internet. Scandi grind, thumb studs for deployment, uh, liner lock on the tops, but this is a back lock and it does also have a pocket clip that is reversible. So you can do right or left hand carry. It is going to be tip up only. Um, the other thing to mention to you is that the, uh, the handle is Grivex it's called. So it's like a very, very hard plastic and it does have a little kind of swoop here. So you can really lock your hand in as you're actually using the knife. So uh, the steel for this one is going to be OS 8. So N690 versus OS 8. Um, N690, I've seen Steel Will use a lot of that um, steel for their knives. Um, OS 8, I've had pretty good luck with. I would generally say N690 is going to be a better steel. Topps is known for 1095 a lot, but they're also known for, in my opinion at least, uh, a really good heat treat on their knives. I have heard that the OS 8 on this knife, somebody I think on my Instagram feed commented that their steel rolled. So you're looking at OS 8, which I think is not as good a steel as N690. We're looking at Tops, who, while they're not making the knives since they're outsourced to Italy, they're probably going to watch over to make sure that they're they're taking care of and doing a good job with their uh, heat treat. So you know, when it comes to the heat treat and the strength of the blade of the steel, I think Tops has the win. Um, the advantage that the Finwolf has right off the bat is that it's like a third of the price, basically, of the Tops. So those are a couple things to keep in mind. Those are some details. Now let me roll in some footage of the knives in use. And again, this is footage I got of using the knives and in addition to what we have on camera I've used these knives you know off camera a bit too
right, so you've seen them in use. Let me share some thoughts with you on uh, these two knives. So I'm honestly kind of torn because um, let's talk about the pluses and minuses. There's things I like about each one. So the fact that this is basically, you know, $35 or $40, I can buy one of these, it breaks. Another one, it breaks. Buy a third one, and now I've paid just a little bit more for three of these than one of these. So budgetarily, that's a really good deal. Uh, my concern with the cold steel is I think it was one of my Instagram followers said that he rolled the steel on the uh, on the fin wolf so that obviously concerns me if you roll the steel it's not like you can't fix it but it's a it's a hassle versus you know just like uh, i've had very good very good um I've, I've enjoyed using the n690 steel a lot i haven't had any issues with this one or, or other n690 knives so that's one thing um, when it comes to my relationship with the companies i don't have any relationship with cold steel i do have a good relationship with tops um, so as far as if I had an issue, I think they'd probably work with me. That being said, I think overall I liked using the Finwolf more. Um, I bought this one myself to compare to the, uh, the Topps MSF 4.0. They sent me, Topps sent me this one. So, you know, just to say I, I, I appreciate those guys sending this knife, but I really liked using this one more. Um, it was just more comfortable, it's a little bit bigger in the hand. What I can tell you is that um, I wouldn't EDC this one as quickly as I'd EDC this one. I think this one crosses over between a woods knife and an EDC knife pretty easily. Just got to clean it up. It's a little, a little bit dirty now. This one to me looks much more like a utility knife. And for my setting, which is an office setting, kind of in my mind, this one fits that setting a little bit more than the uh, than the Fin Wolf does. What I may do with this one actually is take out my Openel from my um, fire kit and put this in like my friend... Um, over at Production Hangar 51 did. He's the guy that makes all the cool fire starter things, fat rope stick, ultimate fire tinder, that type of stuff. So he put his uh, Cold Steel Fin Wolf into his fire kit and that's what he's using. And I think that's kind of a cool setup for, the, for, uh, for this knife. I tend to see this knife as utility and woods knife. I see this as utility, woods, and EDC knife as well. That's just kind of how they fit into the categories in my head. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on how people make decisions about buying knives because I've been thinking about that a lot. And I think some people think it's just a totally black and white issue, and I think it's much more subjective than some people uh, some people view it. So food for thought for a few, uh, future video. That'll be coming up sometime. Starting to get those long afternoon shadows as the fall comes into uh, New Hampshire. But anyhow, um, I want to hear your thoughts on these two knives. So that's one of the cool things about our community is that you know we can ask questions via a video, and you guys can let us know what your experience is. So leave a comment. Um, based on your experience with these knives, people you know who've used these knives, or also just what you thought about seeing them in use. So um, this one, I don't know if you see that, it's a little bit grimier. This one seemed to clean up really nice. The, the Fin Wolf just doesn't seem to pick up as much junk on it. So, um, so I've used them on camera and off camera, and um, they, they both work well, they're both fine. I would say this one's a bit more comfortable in hand, and you're gonna save some money. Um, N690, I do like that steel more, and I've had good experience with tops overall. So um, I, feel, I still think I would pick the Fin Wolf if I had to pick one. So yeah, there are my thoughts on these two knives. Uh, the Fin Wolf's gonna win the day. Um, just overall, I think you're getting a good quality knife, and um, I will always report it and let you know, you know, if there's issues with the steel rolling or other problems with this, this I will certainly tell you about that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching the videos, and uh, as always, please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.